everyone, this is a short video on how to relate multiplication to division as in McGraw-Hill, if you're following along, we just started chapter 3. Chapter 3 is all about how to divide numbers with a single digit divisor. But before we get into all of that craziness with division, it's really important to understand what we do when we divide numbers. And what's great is that it's very related to multiplication. So we're going to talk about something called fact families. So fact families, let's think about that. So we know our math facts, right? A fact is a multiplication equation. Let's start with something simple. What if we did 2 times 3? Well, that equals 6. We call these three numbers a family, and you might see it set up like a triangle, and I'll show you why. All three of these numbers multiply to each other. We know that. 2 times 3 equals 6. But did you know that you can also relate all of these numbers using division? It's like you're going backwards. If I'm going from left to right and saying that 2 times 3 gives me 6, I can go backwards and say that 6 divided by 3 gives me 2. And we're going to prove it using a model, okay? A fact family is, again, three numbers that can have the same three numbers when you multiply and the same three numbers if you use division, okay? So let's use models to show it and prove that this does work. So let's say I had a 2 by 3. So that's 2 dots and 3 rows. So this is showing a 2 by 3. So I have two dots written three times. So total, I should have six dots. And I do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, what if I took those six dots and I divided it into three equal groups? I should have two in each group. So when we divide, the number six is the total that we have. The number being divided, the number dividing it is the 3. That means I need 3 equal groups. And then my answer is how many numbers went into it evenly. That's a very, very important part of it because you could have a remainder. We can only put even amounts in each circle or each group. And it wants 3. Well, I could put 2 here. I could put 2 here. And I have just enough to put 2 here. Because it's equal, how many were in each group? There was 2 equally put in each group. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we just showed that the relationship between a multiplication fact, 2 times 3 is 6, is related to division if we just go backwards. And we can say 6 divided by 3 is 2. I can also say that 6 divided by 2 is, what do you think? 3, because it's a part of the fact family. Let's go ahead and do another one. I love fact families. Let's go ahead and do 12. So if I said, what's the fact family of 12? Okay, well I need to, I can use prime factorization. Um, I can think of all of my facts um, that go into 12. I know 2 goes into 12, 3, 4, 6, all those numbers go into 12. Um, so let's go ahead and do one fact family for 12. I know that 2 times 6 gives me 12. So if this is a fact family, I can multiply 6 times 2 to give me 12, and I can also divide 12 by 2, and it would give me 6. So let's write those out. 2 times 6 gives me 12, and if I go backwards, 12 divided by 6 should give me 2. It should always work that way if you've identified a correct fact family. 12 is a fact family with 6 and 2, but did you know 12 has another fact family? The other fact family for a 12 is 3 and 4. Because 3 times 4 equals 12, and because it's a fact family, I can say that 12 divided by 4 gives me 3. So that is how we relate multiplication to division using fact families. Let's go ahead and look at another one. Okay, so what 
what if they want you to fill in the blank spots of a fact family? So let's say they give you something times 4 gives you 24, and something times 6 gives you 24, and then 24 divided by something gives you 6, and 24, that's what it is, and something A lot of times, and in your homework and in your examples, if you're following along in McGraw-Hill, they like to show this. So it's kind of like a fill-in-the-blank spot for all these fact families. So notice we have multiplication and division, but if this is a fact family, even though we have division and multiplication, it should always be the three same numbers. Always. What numbers do you see? I see a 4, a 24, and a 6. That's all I see. So those must be the three fact family numbers. I have a 4, a 6, and a 24. So knowing that, I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the blank spots. What times 4 gives me 24? I don't even have to think. I just figured it out based on the information they gave me. 6 is a part of this fact family. So 6 times 4 gives me 24. What times 6 gives me 24? Well, what's the missing, fact, fat, uh, what's the missing number of this fact family? It's the 4. 4 times 6 gives me 24. Now let's relate that to division. It's the same three numbers working together, but now you're taking the numbers and going backwards, right? When we multiply, we get a bigger number, and then when we divide a big number, we get a smaller number. So 24 divided by what gives me 6? It must be 4, because 4 is a part of the fact family. And then I have two blanks. What divided by 6 would give me what? So I only have the number 6. I know that the missing numbers are going to be my 4 and 24, but where do they go? Well, I can't do 4 divided by 6. I would end up with a decimal. So 4 must be my answer, which means 24 must go here. 24 divided by 6 is 4. So there you have it. That is an example of filling in the blank spots for your fact family. So just in case, some of you might see it related to algebra, and what they're going to do is they're going to fill in the blank spot with a symbol. So what if they said 7 times m gives me 42, and then they want you to solve for m. So, this is relating to algebra because we start to see letters. I want you to think of this as 7 times what gives me 42. Well, instead of going through and, and stressing, I don't know. Okay, well, remember that it's going to be a fact family. You already have two numbers of the fact family, a 7 and a 42. We're just filling in that blank spot. There's that tripod number. It must connect with 7 and 42 to make this a fact family. What is it? Well, 7 times what gives me 42? Well, I know that 42 divided by 7 is going to give me the same number because, again, it's a fact family, and we can do division by working backwards. So if you'd rather divide, you can do that, and you'd be able to plug it in. Well, 7 times 5 is 35. That's too low. 7 times 6 is 42. So 7 times 6 is 42. That means 42 divided by 7 must be 6. So my missing fact family number was 6. All right, you guys. I hope that helps you understand multiplication a little bit better and how it relates to division with fact families.